hang on. Well, I was going to plug my mic in so you guys would have better audio, but I realized that my phone is dying. It's at 17%. And the receiver of the mic needs to be literally plugged into my phone. So I'm just going to use the regular audio for now. And when my phone is charged up a little bit, then I will switch to the mic so we can have like a better listening experience. Um, basically, I just opened up as you guys saw. Um, I imported all of my orders into Chit Chats. I didn't do the batch, like the pre-made labels so I can just pay for them and be done because I still need to separate like international, Canada and the US. And I'm just not even trying to deal with that right now. So. I um I just imported them all so I can deal with that later and I'm gonna label all of them. I'm gonna label these packages probably later tonight or maybe even tomorrow if I come in a little bit earlier. I just got here, I'm an hour late if you will. Usually I come in at like 1.30, it's 2.15 now, so um basically what I'm gonna do is respond to emails so maybe we can have a little customer service segment i can show you guys kind of how i deal with different types of requests and then um after i do that i will be filling up some cuticle oil bottles i have minis and there's like two originals left and i have hundreds of these one ounce bottles but they need to be filled up so we can do that and then probably fold up some tanks i might not show that but that's just something i need to do um and yeah Let's get started on these emails. So I like to wear my watch because in case anyone texts me, um, I can respond and see my notifications while I'm still filming. And I don't know if you guys have an Apple Watch, my Apple Watch updated and like I have pins in my messages and I have um, like the notifications look different and I have little widgets like I don't know my Apple watch just updated to this and I think that is so cool anyway unrelated but yeah let's get to these emails I'm gonna reposition the camera and we'll get started what there's a lot of noise going on right now so I'm just testing this out you can connect your phone to your apple watch camera and i can start and stop i literally started recording this video from my apple watch and i can take a picture what i can stop it and i can start it again what the heck that is so cool what the heck <laughs> okay anyway i'm just gonna do a little uh rapid fire cleanup i'll probably clean up and then just speed it up and you guys can watch i guess um, I don't know if you guys can hear that noise, but it is pretty annoying. Um, this is so funny, you guys. This is literally what I have my phone plugged into right now. My Jackery. Hilarious. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to do a time lapse of me, um, cleaning up because the place is pretty messy and since it's a little loud and I don't want to be filming through all that noise anyway let me just clean up for a second and then we'll do emails okay So oh, I had um, a pop-up to connect to the Wi-Fi and um, all I did was I, like you guys saw me walk to the back and then all of a sudden these were like in the middle. So basically um, I went back there and I just moved um, these container, these boxes and stuff in the containers of oil to the middle so I can work on those. I have another box back there as well that has nail tips and those bags need to be stickered. So I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to move the camera over there. I'm going to check and see what my phone's at. See if I can plug in the mic. Um, there's still kind of some noise. So I don't know if I want to do a sit down for emails. Because I feel like that's a lot of talking and like important stuff. And I don't want there to be a lot of background noise for that. Um, but we can do the bottles and the tip bags. So yeah, I think we can get started with that. Um, I kind of want to go grab a water. And then do that. 
Okay, I'm all over the place. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I actually grabbed myself a little cart so that I can take some recycling out. So I have this bag. Um, I don't know if there's something wrong with me. I don't want to get rid of this bag. I want to leave one in here because seeing this bag just makes me happy. You guys know I've been talking about my pink nostalgia and like I just cannot let this go. So I'm going to keep like one and just use it for like trash or something. I don't know, but like, I want to keep the bag. Um, but I have this one that has like some um, damaged clothes in there. And then I have some um, boxes that I need to break down and um, it actually got quiet in here for a second. I think some people are leaving, which is really nice. Um, right when I was like, okay, I wanna go get a water. Um, there's like a gas station really close, like right outside the storage building. So I wanna go get a water bottle because usually I have one, but I don't. Today I only have my coffee and I'm not trying to get freaking caffeine anxiety. So, um, yeah, I want to go get a water and then I want to, since I have to walk out that way anyway, um, I was like, oh yeah, let me take my recycling. Um, so yeah, I'm going to break down these boxes, take them to the recycling bin outside. And then go get a water. <laughs> and then come back. And then when I come back, then I'm going to do the cuticle oil bottles and the nail tip bags. And we'll have a little uh, chit chat about how you can be promoting your business and how you can... Um, take it to the next level or even um, something you can do to start because since I started going live a lot of things in my business changed and I want to talk about them and just inspire others so if you're a nail tech if you're just another business owner not just another business owner but I mean like if you have a, a business as well that's uh, different than nails. This could be helpful to you, um, as well as just somebody in general um, who wants to start a business and maybe wants to do what I'm doing but doesn't know where to start. Um, maybe I can give some pointers. Definitely not professional business advice. Could just be inspiring could give you some motivation let you know a place you can start um but yeah stuff like that so let's take the rest of my recycling um which is kind of a lot It basically just has more recycling. So I got my little cart loaded up. So now I'm gonna go take this outside, put the cart back, go get a water, and then come back and deal with this. Cuticle oil bottles, um, nail tip bags, and then we'll get started on the business talk. Okay. okay, I'm back. I have the mic on. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better. Um, I just got back. So it's funny because I actually have two drinks now because 
when I was doing my makeup, I ordered a coffee, but I was just not feeling it. Um, like, it tastes good, but I've been feeling more, like, juicier drinks lately, so I got this um, peach green tea lemonade. Delicious. I also like the strawberry acai refreshers, but anyway, I went to the gas station, like I said, so I'll do a little gas station haul for you guys. Um, I got what I went in there for, a Fiji water, it's my favorite water, so I got that. Um, I also grabbed a few other things. Um, I got this, I got two tied to go sticks, one that I could keep in my purse and one that I could leave here. I actually do have a stain on the carpet, <laughs> my first stain, um, so I'm going to see if that will remove some of it. I also got a lint roller because some of the tank tops, especially the black ones, get like little fuzzies, so I thought that would be nice. And then I also got just little wipes, and I got some sour Skittles because I am an anxiety girly, and I like to keep these in my purse. Um, if you know, you know. If you don't, look it up. Um, the sour can like distract you from your anxiety. And that has worked for me in the past so I got another bag because I don't have any emergency snacks or candy in my purse delicious okay let's see if this will remove this stain in the carpet I hope it does tied to go sticks are amazing um, I'll take you guys over to the stain and let's see if we can get this out obviously I keep saying okay I'm gonna do this and this and then I keep changing it but that's just me I think I need to just stop saying what I'm gonna do and then just do it when I do it um, anyway let's see if we can get this stain out okay here is the stain um, if you guys knew how I got this stain you would be cracking up um, basically I was eating some food and I had a bite that kind of felt weird and I tried to spit it out into the trash can, but I ended up spitting it out onto the carpet. <laughs> so yeah, basically, if you've never used one of these um, tied to go marker things, when you push it, it just kind of releases some of the product and then it's hard so you can kind of scrape. And I'm just going in because I want this stain out. I don't know if that's part of it too. Um, but yeah, it seems pretty well saturated. But yeah, obviously you can't see this stain, but it just, I know it's there. And that kind of bothers me. Okay. I think this is working working a little bit. It's pretty wet now. I have some tissues. Probably would help if it was like a paper towel, but wow, look at that. It still got it out. Even though um, that has honestly been a couple days old. Yeah, it kind of came out. So that's nice. Do a little bit more. Just let that soak in. And yeah, I probably used the whole marker for that. But wow, that looks a lot better. Okay, now let's do this stuff. I should probably bring this down. I said I was going to stop filming so chaotically in my videos, but I just can't. I can't help it. Okay, here we go. Here I am. Um, I think I'll start with the cuticle oil bottles because that's kind of the most pressing thing right now. Got my water. Um, so yeah, let's see. Maybe I can wear some gloves. So yes, um, I get a lot of 
questions every single day about how did you start your business? How can I start my business? I want to do this, but I don't know what to do. Um, and I think as a business owner, it can be a little exhausting to answer the same questions. Um, ooh, wow, the 540 is almost gone. Okay, I need to order another bottle of that ASAP. Um, it can be a little exhausting answering the same question every single day. I'm not going to lie. I understand. But I also understand the people who want to know so that they can start their own business. I totally understand that as well. And I want to help you guys. I want to help you guys start your businesses. Um, I want you to feel confident and like, I want to be the one who, I don't know, inspired you or helped you. Um, I don't always know exactly where to start because a lot of people will ask me, how did you start your business? And they're looking at what I'm doing now, but the story about how I started has nothing to do, well, it has everything to do with where I am now. It's the reason I am where I am now, but it has nothing to do with where I am now because I'm not doing the same thing at all. So I'm just going to break down like the literal whole story for you guys. So, and while I'm filling up these bottles. So if I'm not looking in the camera, I'm just, um, working. Okay. So basically I started my business in 2020, like most small businesses during the panini. And it was like not planned. Um, I wanted to get my nails done, but I couldn't because the nail salons were closed and everything was in lockdown so I was like okay this was my thought process I was like well let me see if I can buy some press-ons mm, all the stores were locked down Target Walmart you couldn't go in and buy press-ons anywhere and then when the stores were open you know every once in a while they'd be like open close open close and when they were open so let me just move this um, when they were open, if you went into the store, it was all sold out. Um, somebody else had already bought them. So I was like, okay. Um, I kind of saw online, there were a few girls who gained immediately like a million followers from their press-ons because they were like the first ones to really... Oh, this one's like really full. Um, they were the first ones to kind of like make customized press-ons and like, I don't think they were the first ones to do it obviously, but, um, these girls just got a lot of popularity because of the pandemic and, and because of their good work. Um, so anyway, I was like, okay, let me see if they have some. Oh, and there was a girl, you guys know Salt, Alicia, uh, Tyre or something like that. Um, she got this pair of press-ons from a girl and I was like, oh my God, like I need them. So I looked up, um, who that girl was and her press-ons were reasonable. They were like only $60. Um, and I get that in the middle of a pandemic when a lot of people lost their jobs, like that's kind of a lot of money. But if you look at like the prices for press-ons now, that, that is such a good price. And I was like, okay, but I couldn't find anything that she was selling that was like exactly my style or how I wanted it to look. And at the time, I was, like, shy, and I wasn't the type of person who was going to reach out and be like, oh, like, can you do a custom set? Can you make one like this? I kind of just look, and if I didn't see anything I liked, I would move on. But um, I, oops, I was just like, oh, like, what if I just go get the supplies and literally make my own? Duh. And I've been a press-on nail girly. I'd been wearing press up press on nails and like putting my own diamonds on them or getting like a pain, plain pair of press on nails and just putting a top coat on them to make them last a little bit longer. But I was using like a regular, like literal nail polish lacquer uh, top coat. And um, so yeah, I was like, let me just do that. I order some supplies on Amazon and they come in. I make myself a pair of press ons and I was so happy. I loved them because I did it myself. And I love them because they were pink. Like, I don't know. They looked like how I wanted them to look. Or maybe it was just because I made them myself. I don't know. 
But yeah, then I posted it to my Insta and my friend was like, oh my God, like, can you make me a pair too? Like, that is so cool. And I was like, yeah, of course. And she was like, I'll even buy them off you. Like, oh my God, like, that's so cool. And I was like, of course, girl. And I sold her a pair of press-ons for literally like $15. And um, she was so excited. She came and picked them up and we were like, you know, like just so happy with our nails in the freaking pandemic and whatever. And so, um, yeah, then I don't know when she bought them from me, something just kind of clicked. Like it was like a light bulb. And I was like, oh my God, like I could really make something of this. And I was fortunate enough to not lose my job during COVID. And I uh, worked at the airport, you know, my full 40 hours a week. Um, my boss really liked me and I did not lose any hours. Um, so I was really blessed and fortunate for that. And so I got to do that full time. I was still working and I also got to sell press on nails on the side and I made a lot of money kind of um, one because in Cali the supplies were cheaper um, I was using regular nail polish and at the Walmart um, back then before freaking inflation and all that you could get a bottle of nail polish for like a dollar um, and yeah I was able to make a really good profit and um, you know it was helping me pay my rent and groceries and stuff like that so that is how I got my start and Telling that story, it's very long to tell over and over and over, like on live or something like that. Um, but I do like telling the story because it's literally the foundation of my business. But um, yeah, if you have like a long story of how you started your business and how you came to be, you would kind of understand like telling it over and over. It can, it's just a lot, you know? But people want to know, um, so definitely if you're a business owner, and I try to tell myself this too, like have some patience because the person who's asking literally might not know anything about you and they're just new and they want to know. Um, I need some more tissues for this one second. Um, but yeah, people just want to know, people are curious, people want to be inspired and that's totally fine and beautiful. Um, but yeah, um, so that's, like I said, that's how I got my business started. And I did press on nails for like two to three years. And I just recently stopped doing press ons. And I was only doing press ons for a really long time. And I loved it. My designs were simple, but as my skill level got higher or like I got better at doing nails and like nail art on the press-ons um the designs became more intricate and it got a little bit like as time went on it got like more and more difficult to just want to do them because they were so time consuming because of the artwork and I guess I didn't need to like um put myself in that position, but I did. And then I started doing acrylic press on nails because I'm like, okay, if I'm um, make, gonna sit here for hours anyway and make one press on nail set, I might as well make it worth it. And the acrylic ones I was charging more for. And then the neck pain started to kick in and then the back pain started to kick in at like um, year two and a half to three. And now I'm approaching my four year nail anniversary. Um, it's the 10th of April right now. Um, April 10th, 2024. And in, on May 15th, 2024, will be my four year nail anniversary. And May 15th is the first day I ever sold my first press on nail set. It's when I made myself the press on nails and my friend was like, hey, make me one. And I was like, okay. Um, so yeah and when i first started making the press on nails i was on twitter and i was searching you know how on twitter you can search keywords and everybody who's talking about that will come up I, so i was typing in press ons press on nails pressies press ons um press on nail tech like anything like that and i was i had like a post and a few pictures and i would copy and paste the same thing hey girl i make press ons and da -da 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 -da. like here's my website and i would attach some pictures of what i've already done and um 
Some people would respond. Some people would block me. <laughs> some people bought a pair. So it was a really cool experience. So shout out to Twitter. Um, Cause Twitter is like a reason that I, that was like my first sale on my website ever was from Twitter. So yeah. Um, yeah, and I would just post it everywhere. You don't have to have like some insane marketing strategy to get your start, you know? Um, and then obviously the whole time I was also on Instagram, but I felt like um, before Reels, it was harder to get views on Instagram. And I don't remember exactly when Reels became a thing, but I feel like in the beginning of my business, I don't think Reels was a thing in 2020. I could be wrong, but I feel like reels came later and, um, I don't know. But anyway, all I'm saying is that you don't need an insane marketing strategy. So for the girls who have a business already and know that they're selling something, what you need to do is just post consistently. And by consistency, I mean, consistency, show up every day, but show up as the same version of yourself. So it might not be good for my business if I show up and I have no makeup and my hair looks crazy and I don't have a tan because this is how I've been presenting myself in my consultations on lives so on days where I don't look like that people literally might not recognize me people might just find it inconsistent with the branding or whatever even though I'm a human um, I have to kind of separate myself a little bit and remember like yeah I am a human but I'm representing a business and the business needs to show up the same every single day. If you go into Walmart and the Walmart branding is like blue with the with the hint of yellow and then one day you walk in and everything is like pink and orange, you're going to be like, what? Like, this is weird. Like, I don't recognize it. Like, what's going on? So I think that's important for a business to stay consistent in all aspects, the quality of your work, how you present yourself online, how you're presenting your business online. Consistency and branding is so important. And I think it's good to niche down as well. So if you wanna post nail tutorials, post nail tutorials, post them, post them, post them, post them. If you, like, I feel like the algorithm, especially on TikTok, will pick it up a lot quicker and push your stuff if it's really consistent and people know what to expect from you. And I know you guys are probably seeing the makeup TikToks um, you probably notice a lot of those makeup girlies post the same type of video all the time and it's just because it works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. And I don't know, that's just so important. I think niche down and stay consistent, show up every day. Um, for the girlies who work in the service industry, such as lash techs, nail techs, waxing girls, hair girls, um, whatever else. Make sure when you're promoting your business to focus on the experience that people are gonna have. Um, okay, my phone storage just got full, so I had to delete some old videos really quick. But um, yeah, I was basically just saying, um, I don't remember what I was saying, so let's continue. <laughs> but yeah, if you, so that's kind of for someone, if you're currently, um, working as a beauty service provider and you need some advice, if you have a business, um, if you have a product or if you want to have a product, like for me, I, elevated into nail supplies and um, even kind of selling some clothing items just for fun because people have been liking my style. Um, just little like limited edition pieces and stuff. Um, get on TikTok, get on live, like literally get on live. And I can't stress this enough, like going live on Instagram I mean, sorry, going live on TikTok, not on Instagram, not on Instagram, on TikTok, completely changed my business. And 
I think I would be really struggling right now if it wasn't for TikTok Live. Going live on TikTok um, got me a lot of new customers. Um, got me a lot of new clients, especially my consultation videos. But that goes back to the girlies who are doing a service and they're showing the experience and showing themselves because that will make people comfortable. They wanna know what it looks like when they're gonna show up. They wanna know how you're gonna treat them, stuff like that, so um, that's good to focus on. But yeah, like even my cuticle oils, if I was to go on live right now and just be talking about my cuticle oils for like two to three hours, I would sell so many of them. And you're reaching a different audience. There's a lot of people who are gonna see your stuff People doom scroll on TikTok and they're gonna they're gonna come across your live and that's what's been happening to me. And I've literally been telling people, like my friends and people around me, I'm like, get on freaking TikTok. Like this is not a joke. Because TikTok TikTok has really been helping my business. Um and it's beautiful and it's amazing and all these things. And I do think that it's gonna change my life at some point. Right now, it's not like it, um, it has changed my business so much. I wouldn't say it's changed my life. It's funny, I was like my life and then my phone um, totally froze. That was embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I was just saying that it, TikTok has completely changed my business. I wouldn't say it's changed my life yet because what I'm doing hasn't really reached my life yet, if that makes sense. Um, this cuticle oil is like almost done and um, it's really struggling to come out. Ah! There's still some in here. But yeah, sorry, I know this isn't the most structured, but hopefully you guys can take s something out of what I'm saying and apply it to your business. I think that going live can change your life. And I do think that it's gonna change mine and I'm gonna continue to be going on live and talking to new people and showing off my products and praying that people like it and just try to make something of myself, you know? And I think as a business owner, if you really wanna make some money, you need to keep your costs low, keep your expenses down, keep your cost of goods down, stay consistent, like I said, and that, like, it doesn't just mean, oh, I need to stay consistent, like I need to post every day. That's not only what that means. Um, I think I can do one more bottle. I can't believe I almost sold out this whole gallon. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm starting to get distracted now. But yeah, like I said, hopefully this is helpful to somebody. If you guys have more questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer more about like business related stuff. But I guess that's kind of what I have to give for now. Sorry, my friggin' capacity to share just ran out. Um, Can't see. <gasps> I don't think that can fill another bottle. Maybe it can fill one more. Let's see. I didn't think it would fill this one, but it did more than enough, so. Let's see if I can do one more, the last 540 oil, but not ever. I'm gonna be keeping this scent in stock. That was just the last of the gallon that I had for it. Um, so I'll need to restock that.
Yep, it filled it up. It's totally full. It's like right at the top. Oh, shoot. Okay. This one has been pretty messy because of the pump. And I feel like I just got oil everywhere. The other pump is a lot smaller and that one is a lot easier to work with. Um, but yeah, this one, I kind of spilt a lot out. I probably lost a whole bottle of oil just in like spillage. But yeah, okay, this is all of the 540 oils. Um, here's the mess I created. The 540 is done. Um, I can fill up some original ones now. The original is like halfway. I guess the 540 kind of was too. We'll see, this one's easy. Done, right at the top, 10 pumps, perfect. No mess. Um, but yeah, what else can I talk about? I don't know, maybe I'll do a little time lapse of this, me filling up the bottles. Because I kind of have to count when I do it. See, this one's a lot faster. And then after I fill up some bottles, then I'm going to do my emails and then probably go live. It's 3.30 now. Yeah, I don't want to go live at 4, 4 to 7. 4 to 7 is pretty good. I've been trying to go live at 3, but I, I'm late every day. Um, but I did come late here today. I've only been here for like a little over an hour, so I'm not too mad at myself. Um, did I just get that on there? I think I need to change my gloves because I got, um, there's oil on the bottle and I think it's coming off my gloves. But yeah, let's quickly fill up some of these so that they're stocked for the day and then I'll probably go live and then I'll do, um, the square tip, the tip bags tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Also, refill bottles are gonna be available this weekend for um, <laughs> for perfume, for cuticle oils. Some girls are also using this as a perfume oil, which you can, by the way. Okay, I think that is enough um, bottles. There's still a decent amount um, left in here, like this much. But I think I'm done filling up those bottles for now. Um, I kind of filled up those are the 540 ones, and then over here I have the original scent. Um, I just had to like separate those. And here are the nail tips, and I'm gonna do this tomorrow because I need to go live. I need to, I need to show up to work. Here's more cuticle oil bottles. Then I have recycling and the little table I've been using, or the little stool I've been using for the oils the oil back on top of there okay today's video is pretty long which I'm happy about because I've been wanting to put out some longer videos Whew, I don't know how well um, I talked about um, TikTok and business and stuff these aren't like professional business advice guys these aren't like a real sit down like here's what you need to do like step by step this is not what that is you guys know I'm just here to give you the best advice that I can and it's up for you to implement it and see what you think about it what works for you and your business um, might not work for me and vice versa but yeah um, that's it for today's video. Okay. See you guys again tomorrow. 
I'm gonna end this one. I probably won't do an afterlife check-in. Um, I'm just gonna end it off right here and say that I will see you guys tomorrow. And I don't know what is gonna happen tomorrow. It's kind of just gonna be the same check-in kind of vibe. I don't know. I'm staying consistent doing the same unorganized stuff every day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.